vectors in three space R3. So let's extend what we learned so far about R3. So we learned what is 3D Cartesian vectors in the coordinate planes, right? So we said in R3, we have three coordinate planes. And we did, we say, well, they look like something like this, correct? So we have x-axis going in this direction, y-axis in that direction, and z going upwards, right? Going upwards. And that is our origin. So we'll call it 0, 0, 0. And this is given the name ordered triple. So ordered triple because we need to specify every point in this coordinate system with the help of three coordinate points, right? X, Y, and Z, right? So that is how we define a point in a 3D space, correct? Now the question here is, what is a plane in the space and how can we define it? Now the simple definition for the plane is that a plane in space that contains Two of the coordinate axes is known as the coordinate plane. So we'll just give them a simple name and the name is coordinate plane. And here we have three coordinate planes. Since one is xy, so we are saying a plane in space that contains two of the coordinate axes. So coordinate planes have two coordinate axes, right? That is basic. Any two coordinate axes. That means we'll have three combinations. One is xy plane. We say xy plane, right? So xy plane has boundaries like x and y. So really speaking, these are not the boundaries. The plane extends till infinity, but just shows like it is kind of floor in the room, right? So the xy plane becomes the floor it can extend either direction, right? So that will be minus x, this will be minus y, correct? So that is how it will be. But you have to see it as a flow in a room, correct? So I would like to take and extend the example of a room for the time being, since it becomes easier and simpler. So x, y plane. Then we have x, z plane. So x, z plane has got x coordinate and z coordinate, correct? And the third is y z plane. So y z plane will be defined by the y and the z plane, right? So here we have a couple of planes, rather exactly three, right? So this is this plane is your x and z because it it is bound by these two x's, right? And this one is your x and y plane and here we have y and z plane correct so these are the three planes something special about them is like this let's consider a point a point on each plane then as you can see here if i move two units away towards x from origin i'm at point two zero zero and i move towards y one unit let us say then i'm at 2, 1, 0. So I can say this point is 2, 1, 0. I am staying in this plane, x, y plane, and I am not moving up. Do you see? So it is a two-dimensional thing where I am staying. Now well, consider this. I move one unit towards x and let's say four units towards y. So my order triple is 1 for x and 4 for y and none 0 for z. Well, I could move in that direction also. That means I could go three units here along x, but in the negative x direction. And let's say two units towards positive y. In that case, my location will be minus three, two, zero. So what do I observe here? In general, the order triple will be of the form a comma b comma zero, where a is how much away I am from origin towards x. B is my shift or translation in y direction. 
If it is negative, it goes in that direction. And 0 is my change or translation in z direction, up or down. Since I am not going up and down, I am staying in plane x and y. Do you see that? So every point in xy plane can be represented by this ordered triple AB0. So that is how we can define order triple in our plane x and y. You can do the same exercise for the other two planes, right? So in this plane, for example, your general point will be here y is 0, correct? So it will be A, 0 and let's say C for Z. Do you get it? So that is how we can get a point in a plane. Now the second question is, can we give kind of an equation? Equation? Wow. Equation is something like this. You will observe all these points have one thing in common and that is z equals to 0. If I write z equals to 0, it means xy plane. So z equals to 0 becomes the equation for xy plane. That's kind of very interesting observation. Similarly, you will notice that if you write what should be 0 in this plane? Now in this plane we are talking about y and z. So we say well in this plane my points should be 0, b and c. And here in this plane I observe that x is 0. So if I have x equals to 0 it means y z plane. Do you understand? So this is a way to define the planes, right? I hope you understand and appreciate this concept. So each plane has two coordinate axes associated with it and the movement in the third is zero. And then we get these three basic coordinate planes. Do you understand? Now we can have many planes parallel to them. For example, if I have a plane parallel to XY plane and it is two units higher, then the equation of that will be, think about it, how about z equals to 2. z equals to 2 will represent a plane which is two units higher than xy but parallel to xy plane, kind of here. Do you understand? So that is how we understand planes in 3 space. So, I would like you to grasp this much information for the time being. Understand how to find a point on a plane, how to represent a plane in an equation form, like x equals to 0 means what, y equals to 0 means what, and a point 3, 5, 0 means what. So, 3, 5, 0 means a point on xy plane. Do you understand? So, that is how we are going to understand this and then move forward. I hope you understand how we are developing slowly, step by step, and soon we will be drawing our points in three space. Thank you. I hope you appreciate it.